is up? What is good, guys, guys, and everybody else? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the house of K2 Boy Fuller, and we're back with another movie reaction. Um, this time I will be reacting to a movie called The Last Duel. I just actually found it like right now, like today, right? Uh, I was planning on reacting to something else, but then I saw this and I was like, all right, this looks a lot more interesting. <laughs> it looks quite interesting, and I think it's say like it was based off of a true story right um so yeah that just makes it a little bit more better uh i read a little bit of what it's about apparently it's about uh a knight and his squire and uh the squire apparently ends up like attacking the wife the 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 knight's wife and then i guess it leads to a a, a duel between them i guess i'm not sure what they mean by attacking <laughs> okay anyways <clears throat> i am curious to see how exactly this will progress to get to the duel is that like a uh uh is that how they used to like just settle things like this back in the day or is that like a personal choice or what anyways um i do not really have much to speculate on i just like this type of movies set in the medieval periods and stuff like that they're just interesting and yeah uh anyways i hope you enjoy this reaction if you do please do leave a like sub to the channel and leave a comment down below telling me what your thoughts were on this movie and yeah there you go what it wasn't it weird to be dressed by people isn't it weird to be dressed by people i mean especially if you're like able to fully clothe yourself it's just <laughs> I guess different times. It's just like a. I guess this is adjusting like arena or something. I don't know if that's what this. <laughs> the parallels between the the, the guy and the and the woman. Why is she putting on that mask? Well, that's curious. This is their duel. Like, I'm guessing it is their duel. Like the, the the knight and the squire, I just don't know which one is which at this moment. So I'm guessing they're gonna do like a uh, a flashback, or they're gonna go back to what happened. That dude looks shaken. Maybe he knows one of them, father to one of them, maybe. Yo, the music is so epic though. <laughs> But this shit was way too dangerous, Niji. Mm. Now. Nah. That's why they're gonna leave us? <laughs> That's cold. That's straight up cold, fam. Damn. Yo, they're about to murder people, bro. Damn, that's fucked up. I mean, your chances of survival if you're fighting against uh, a mountain 
knife that you get. I'm very slim, guy. Right? They have a superior advantage over me. Oh. They lost? Now our allies have failed to take the port at Brest. Ooh. Our new lord, Pierre, has now resigned the campaign and orders us home. We move at dawn. Yeah, but they fought well, you know. Declare yourself! Fought the lamb. Why is on the Garou, son of the captain of this fort? Open the gate! Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to catch these names, fam. <laughs> Lord, I become your man. I swear I shall serve you for life. Closer. Ooh. Lord, I become your man. That's not a good sign, fam. I swear fam. I shall serve you for life. That's not a good sign. He's he likes the other dude, but does not like this guy. Pierre has charged me with the collection of debts. I see. Mm, and you I've already visited all the other tenants in his domain. And now you have come to see me. I have come to see you. Damn. So that's why he doesn't like him. Dude's been. Ah, damn. He hasn't been paying back. military defense. Damn. I don't have it. <laughs> yeah, I mean... The plague has carried off half my workforce. My rent collection is down. My fields yield half what they used and to. And the cost of labor has now horse. risen. Yes. How is it the other vassals paid? They paid because I had to insist. I see. And now you insist upon me. Damn, that's tough, man. But, hey, Juice is doing his job. <laughs> Not without reason. I will explain your situation. You are a true friend, but I cannot return empty handed. Of course not. Thank you. About this, I have. If you have not, I will be fighting under Admiral de Vienne. The English are looting the Cotentin Peninsula as we speak. This plague has taken your wife and son. I will not Do stand not let by this take you. Normandy you have no heir. If you die, all you have will revert to Camp Pierre. Fact not lost on Pierre, I'm certain. He does not favor me as he does you. I don't embark on this campaign recklessly. I don't embark on it just to fight. Then why? Oh, Jacques. I am broke. Oh. <laughs> I need money. Yeah. That's that's a legit reason. Oh Future wife? Older than yours. She's his only daughter. There's a dowry to be had. Of course, a man would have to bear the mark of her father's disgrace. Though. I don't imagine one would suffer too greatly at the task of producing an heir. It's my pleasure to host you and your men. It is only just to support the men who fight for the king. Man. <laughs> Some lessons are learned later in life. <laughs> Allow me to introduce my daughter. Marguerite. I already Marguerite. see what's going on here. John de oh, is this? No, he's the squire to him. Alright, I guess the rose roof first. Or, or there's still squires at this point. But I see what they're doing here. They just brought her here because they're gonna use her as a bargaining chip so that, you know, this guy can, you know, look at that smile. A 
as I say, starting at the hunting grounds. This just feels so awkward. I'm sorry. <laughs> it just feels so awkward. <laughs> I'm a very jealous man, the lady. Tonight you are mine, and we'll dance with no other. And every night here Wait, do they have to stay there and watch? I hope it's not that type of thing. Oh, they didn't show us. But it looked as if they they left, maybe. But uh, knowing how people used to act way back in the day, nah, they might have stayed and watched them just for proof. Part of Marguerite's dowry. She loved it here. And Pierre simply gave it to you in appreciation of my service. Yeah. His accounts were in complete chaos. Once I was able to reorder them and collect the rents due, everything started functioning properly in his fortunes terms. Gave me this as a sign of his gratitude. Damn, the same land that he. Ooh, that's fucked up. It's not my doing. Is generous and impetuous. But all squires enjoy such lavish gifts. I'll agree more than most. He has become Pierre's most trusted. Perhaps on all of has not gone for good. Perhaps I shall not let that rest. Jean. Sure. My love, I have fled for this king. The petition is denied. Yeah. This decision comes direct from His Majesty the King. Well, at least he tried, but you know, when he does this, it might just like uh, cause him a lot of trouble. Now it might look at, like he's going against us. I guess uh, in the count. What is it say? Your father. Is he not? footsteps is kept in here at Bel Air. What do you mean? Why did you have to sue the Count for a piece of land? I knew it! Just to impress your bride. That land was promised to me. It was an appeal. And now you've made an enemy of Yeah, that, I mean, that's... You're right. <laughs> right. There's no right. There is only the power of man. This guy is quite naive now that I think about you it. You sued him. Join us, my squire. Day for celebration. I will not be staying, my lord. I do not wish to interrupt such an occasion, but my honor compels me to speak. This dude reminds me of the Ned Stark fam. I He's... was angry, but I spoke well. He poisoned my lord with evil advice, whispered in his ear, blackening my name. Surely you didn't say. He did. He did. Ah, uh, bruh. As much as I like you, fam. Welcome at court. Ah, uh, as much as I like you, bruh, but you're making the dumbest decisions ever. I am very glad you chose to attend. This would only do you good, my love. Yeah, I think that's the best. It could be the best option, as long as Libby does not like fuck him over. This is what I do. Let me provide for you. And what of you? I have all that I need. Except an heir. My love. Comes as God will. 
close it. No one is. Oh, that's. Oh. Damn. Ooh. Oh, right in the face. Wait, they run. <laughs> oh, so they're different, like. They're a combination of different, like, um, legions, let's say. And he's is way more disciplined than the others. Jean, you are unwell. He's well enough to travel. To Paris. That's three days' ride. And Argentan. Dated the man today. Report to Pierre. <coughs> they will admire you. And you will confound those who had not expected you to return, Sir Jean. Sir Jean de Carouge? Hey, bro. Here. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was like, yo, you gotta offer a little bit of something, something there, bro. I'm guessing it's the child thing. I will be in my chamber. It's definitely the child thing. It's always the child thing. Uh, when, when you were gone, there was a day when your mother had business in St. Pierre. Yes. She took the servants with her on her errand, and I was left alone. Did she not leave Alice? This is no uncertain. She took all the servants. I was raped. Who? Who did this? Who? Jacques the Greek. <sighs> Are you telling me the truth? Yes. Yes. Are you telling me the truth? Yes, I am telling you the truth. You must believe me. I thought, I literally thought it was gonna be way later, like halfway through the movie. We're only like, what, a quarter way through? Go, bruh. That motherfucker has to pay for this, man. You did see him today. I request a duel to the death. Oh, he... His custom was outlawed years ago. Not so, your grace. He took the truth that no duelty could fall during my lifetime. Uh, the names of the sack given as a thing. It would require a full convening of the assembled parliamentary body of Paris. All 32 members of your majesty's court. And the truth will prevail. <laughs> <laughs> I am not afraid. Yo. Excellent. Yeah, this is the same dude who was in Black Mirror, fam. I remember him. I remember his face. And I remember that episode. That was a fucked up episode. <laughs> Most excellent, powerful king, and our sovereign lord. I thought he was an emperor. I present myself, Jean de Carouge, knight, as an appellant in your court. And hereby do accuse this squire of a most foul crime against my wife, the Lady Marguerite de Carouge. I stand ready to prove my charge by my body against his and to render him dead at an appointed time. Let's go. What does that symbolize? What's up with the glove? 
The truth according to Jacques the Greek. Okay. Well, he is stubborn. Yes. Stubborn, difficult, jealous, rash, yes. dim-witted, irascible. Yes. Yes, yes, I know, my lord. Stupid. Does not exactly yield his rent on time. But I count him as a friend. <sighs> he disobeyed me. He made me most for He believed he would succeed. His intentions were good. He's no fucking fun. He's <laughs> not. You mean you'd like to see more of this? But do not let your loyalty blind you. <laughs> Obviously. Our wish is fast at work growing our eighth child. Eighth? Yo, eighth, my G. God damn. Well, good night, dear friend. I shall wait up for absolutely none of you. <laughs> Especially my husband. <laughs> A new love expels an old one. All right. Too true. <laughs> well, here we have a squire with a hidden talent. Read to read. <laughs> Nothing prevents a woman from being loved by two men. a man from being loved by two women. <laughs> no. 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 I'm guessing this is some sort of game, right? <laughs> this customer is rough. And strong. Here, come take some evil inside you. his own house with the wife like sleeping <laughs> down my accounts are in disarray do you mind bringing your expertise to bear on my finances oh how can this be rents are late to come in the accountants are careless my lord these nobles are holding the money that they are meant to yield up to you plague is carried off half our workforce Crop yields are down, labor costs are down. I understand the numbers, and absolutely none of this is your concern. You let them say that to me. <laughs> What's this here? The same land. Forgot his own kids' names. <laughs> He's suing me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I fail to see the amusement here, my lord. How do you sue for that which was never yours? Yes, why? Will you finally submit that I was right, but not John de Groot? You saying you will take the matter to the king? He has bled for this king. My cousin. <laughs> so the so king's his cousin, bro. So they had already planned to remove him anyways, even before he sued him. So it wasn't because he sued him why he 
he he lost the captainship. Join us, Esquire. This is a day for celebration. I will not be staying, my lord. Good God, man. Tell me you're not here to sue me again. <laughs> Damn. Mark me, if you may. But you cannot change right from wrong, nor wrong from wrong. The one who holds a captaincy now, that is rightfully mine. My friend, please. No, Let no, no! I shall be hurt! I do not accept this! My father, for 20 years, my father... I waited for 20 years! <laughs> he just didn't lost it. You would speak ill of your father. You asked for my rents, I yield them up. Sycophants all. I will sue. I will sue you for this. <laughs> <laughs> You've managed to marry a traitor's daughter. Sue me for land that never belonged to you. And to stand before me for the second time in this many years, threatening once again to sue. All while speaking of duty and honor. Heaven and earth! <laughs> Bruh, that did not go well, fam. Yo. <laughs> Dude can't even get on his horse properly, bruh. Damn. I work better alone. You make it hard for me to get his work done. <laughs> I came here to tell you I will not be joining. Between your lordship's vassals brings naught but trouble and distraction. Oh. And because I once stood godfather to his late son. Damn, he was even godfather to his son, bro. Do as you must. Poerum dementem tenebras de mitibus. Virulent demons. Tragedy est. Too much wine, my Latin belt. We forgive a child afraid of the dark. Tragedy. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> and there is no end to my decency. Well, my lord, recalculate! Bruh, that's fucked up. <laughs> that's fucked up, bruh. <laughs> Oh, the, the, the rose changed. The rose changed. About the servant and the ill will and stuff. Even, the, even her reaction has changed. He's making it seem as if she was into him. Shame we are not men until tonight. Bruh, you know that it's this dude's wife and you're here like come on man this dude's a douche straight okay there's there's no there's not he's not your friend man. this dude's not your friend at all You lie. Please 
you lie. You fucking lie. Was that just a dream? That was just a fucking dream, right? The bit we owe to our friends is the greatest of all. He's illiterate. That's why he wouldn't like uh read the, the message. Damn, that's <laughs> Damn. We found ourselves unwelcome by our Scottish allies and forbid siege of war. Louder, Sir Knight. They cannot hear you in the back. <laughs> we laid siege at Wark. The Lord, I return with neither plunder nor prisoners. Word had arrived ahead of you of your calamitous campaign. A tragic result, John. Though I dare say no fault of your command. I have business with the treasurer for my payment. Very good. A good soldier and good fortune are not long parted. <laughs> I thought they actually won. So they lost? That is the second time you do not call me sir. Come on. Not be a third. Come on, bro. No offense intended, Sir Sean. I will not be patronized by this squire. Who lies about court, waiting to be fated with gift upon gift upon gift, and risks nothing, nothing. He may acquire more property in this world, find more favor, eat more, drink more, bed more. And otherwise call himself a man of arms. But in this world, and in any other, in my company, he will call me sir. 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 Indeed, good sir. <laughs> Enjoy your time in Paris, Sir Jean. I don't know how to. Uh, I don't know which one to believe. Though I, I, I would not be surprised if he acts like this. Don't do it, but she did it. Man, and this dude actually, he helped him get in, man. That's fucked up. I love you more than any other, and I would do anything for you. Everything I have is yours. The fuck? How can you speak to me like this? Marguerite, what way then would I speak to you? Well, hey, when my lord sets his course for love. Do not speak! You must leave now, please. You heard the lady. Leave us! My lord. I am so disgusted right now, fam, to my soul. God damn. How can we say I'm in love with you? I know you love me too. You must. You must leave now. Bruh. Doors, fam, just lock yourself in a room. Just lock the door. Ah, oh, god damn it, bro. If I was you right then, right now, I would be, yeah. I would be grabbing something, fam. I would be grabbing something to beat this dude with. And this is like, it's a parallel to what he was doing that fucking game that they were playing. What the fuck, man?
Bite this dude's ear off, fam. Just like, oh, god damn. Oh, this just, oh, this is just. Yourself guilty, but my love, I beseech you, tell no one. Fuck you, bruh. For your own safety. If your husband hears of this, he may kill you. Fuck you. Oh man, I hate this guy. Oh, fuck me, I hate this guy. It's not so bad, my love. We could not help him now. There is no other way to say this than to speak plain. <clears throat> A most unspeakable charge has been brought against you. John de Carew, evidently, among others, has been telling any and all who will listen that you took his wife against her will. The accusation is false. Of course, she made the customary protest, but she is a lady. No, this is the thing that... This is the reason why I, couldn't, I would not believe his side of the story. Because of that line. We knew it was wrong. I confessed my adultery and performed my penance. What do you but mean, we knew? Charge is false. What do you mean, we knew, fam? What do you mean we knew, fam? On my honor, I will, my lord, I must. I know you yearn to defend your name and your honor, but the common mind has no capacity for this sort of nuance. They simply don't understand the world of people. Nuances. Killings and heroes. I hereby find Sir Jacques de Grew to be completely innocent and wholly without you. I want the criminal complaint annulled and stricken from your record. Let there be no further questions about it. Let there be no more gossip. The penalty of punishment by my hand. Then understood. As to the sworn testimony of the Lady Marguerite, one can only come to the conclusion she must have drank it. Now, have these findings sent immediately to Paris before this insouciant night troubles our king any further with his nonsense. The way that re that lady reacted yes, to that line was Lord, like I've been informed that John de Carouge has already travelled to is filing an appeal to His Majesty at this very moment. Can't. The benefit of clergy. There is no decision to make. We have cleric and minor orders. So, we can escape. All of France is talking about this and I'm innocent. No, you're not, you piece of shit. Extraordinary pressure and a great risk to her name mm -hmm. and reputation. She her still claims this. Said that it did. Most excellent and powerful king and our sovereign lord. I present myself, Jacques Legree, squire and defendant. And I do hereby deny all the aforesaid charges, especially of Jean de Carouge, that I did unlawfully. I further maintain, and with the aid of God, and with Our Lady, <laughs> I pledge to do whatever is necessary to prove my Why is he looking up, bro? <laughs> Yo, our lie, that was dope. That was cool. But fuck him. Even he's like a bit extreme. Thank you. 
your C will render a verdict upon in a fortnight. If either man attempts to flee Paris, it will be taken as a sign of his guilt. Orders will be issued for his summary arrest, and he will be hanged. <laughs> this guy, this guy. I like the way he plays him. According to the lady now. You will have 330 leaves of coin, furnishings, cloth, and jewels, in addition to the estate at Montagudo, as well as. And what about Louis Faucon? I, I, I was forced to sell my property to come here. And what of the bride, Bryce? I offer you a name, a value. Doesn't seem like it. I could not have asked for a more satisfying wedding night. Perhaps we had conceived on this very night. make this dude look any better bro doesn't make him look good at all I trust your little death was a memorable and a productive one it was like none other it's about the productivity with this dude you think I do not know this I think of nothing else. Do not have this problem with my first wife. Oh. Really, dude? Really? I shall return in a few months. You will be safe here with my mother and your servants. You must never allow yourself to be unattended. And do not look so sad. I prefer you to be in good spirits as I go off to war. I'm proud of you, my lord. You will take care of the estate. See that it does not fall into disarray. Of course. I don't know. Pregnancy seems to be going well. Yes, my lady. Well, so why is she penned up? Before my master left, he had told me to do so. My husband knows much about horses. Riding them. The upbringing I live to you. It would be better for the hills if the mayor took the woman free. Then she shall roam free. As well, my lady. And you unable to pay? Your lord never came to collect it. 
Why you did it? Is this unusual? No. But it is no trouble. Thank you. Damn, this that dude was bad at his at being a lord, is it wasn't he? Queen's a freak. May I ask what you're making? It looks lovely. I say with sorrow, something apparently fruitless. I knew it was about this. You are very cruel. I am a good wife. As long as you are fulfilling your wifely duties. It is imperative that you have a pleasurable conclusion similar to your husband's in order to conceive a child yeah that dude that dude doesn't care yes. that's a lie you find intercourse with your husband pleasurable yes of course despite the queen's many deplorable qualities we cannot be blind to his appearance. Crude as he is, offensive as well. Why? Did the mother plan this with uh, Lagree? Because I don't understand why she did this. This again, Sam. Oh, the things have changed. The little details have changed. She did not take. She did not stop and take off her shoes. It was not like a simple, like you know. It was quite more violent, and it's like I do not, do not fight this now. Fuck off. See the difference? I was wondering about the whole crying thing because in the other um, sides, right, it was a lot quieter. It was just like, no, no. And I was just like, wait, what? What's going on? Oh, <gasps> 
Again, fuck you, bro. Do not so badly, my love. Uh. We cannot help ourselves. man who have known you. The fuck? Some. This dude just Damn. drops and drops and drops, man. Ah. Oh. This is like, oh, fuck me. You want her to stay Despite quiet? my protestations and my revulsion, did, did I go crying to my little ward? I heard from several sources that you told others you found Monsieur Le Gris handsome. Perhaps you dreamt this event, Bruh. pushing it to be true. Oh, she's pregnant now. Yes, a, a, a long time ago, some friends and I agreed that he was handsome, but I told them that I knew him to be untrustworthy. Yes. Oh, as I have said, I am loyal to my husband. Do you enjoy having intercourse with your husband? Yes, of course. A rape cannot cause a pregnancy. This is just science. The court to wonder that sight <laughs> years um. relations. Your pregnancy is a coincidence. Perhaps you enjoyed it more than you're willing to admit. Please explain to me how one is to enjoy rape. Did you experience 
Haifa? No. Case for rape. Is that you are to be stripped and shorn, fitted by the neck with an iron collar, lashed to a wooden post, and summarily burned alive? Cow. the hell, bro? You think that we had some thing? You could disgrace me. What to my king in all France? You knew what would happen to me should you lose this duel. You knew, and you didn't tell me. God will not punish those who tell the truth. Great. If I could give birth to a son who I love more than I could ever imagine. Would it be right for your child? They would like you, Sean. A child needs his mother more than a mother needs to be right. Can't argue with that argument, fam. <laughs> oh, they can choose. Oh, 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 you fucked, my G. story so it's like there is no plot armor here it's just straight whatever happened happened he might actually lose this Opportunity, my G. Let's go. Full body weight, my G. Full body weight. Let's go. Cause to be 
be truthful and just. You have fought with strength and humility. May God be with you and your wife. Your wife. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Yeah, bro, that confidence, like, hell, fuck yeah, bro. <laughs> you know what? Most of these people are actually just... <laughs> they're just happy because they saw, like, a very great thing, like, great fight. And the women, though, they're, they're, they're happy because, you know, most of their cases never go hurt. Oh. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Bless the kid. <laughs> Sajon the Courage the Courage fought and died in the crusade a few years later. Oh okay. The great the courage has spent thirty years living in Crusade happiness. Okay. She never remarried, alright. What was up with that that last scene where the when she when they were coming back home, right? And then they came they, they panned to her and she was just, like there was just like silence not really silence but she was out of it let me say i guess she was removed from the whole crowd and all that she was not there let's say what was up with that was that just cause a kind of like relief you know from you know because of them actually having won this because of victory maybe she was just you know out of it because of that or Maybe the crowds were just too much and stuff like that. I don't know, but it was just a little bit questionable. I did not, I do not really understand that part. If you have ideas of what that was, you can let me know. But man, this this movie, God, this was a tough movie to watch. Let me not lie to you guys. We had to sit through three of those. God damn, bro, like. I couldn't watch most of that. Honestly speaking, I could not. I mean, I had to force myself to at least try to, but man, that was just tough. If I was not reacting to this, I'd have probably skipped through all that. I'd have probably skipped through it because, man, that was just... And I like the way they showed, like, the different perspectives, you know? Um, okay, first, first, for, first of all, let me say this. The... Legree? Right? That was the name, right? <laughs> Legree, I think. <clears throat> I think so. I might be butchering his name, but... Yeah, I might be butchering all their names. But... He was a straight-up douchebag. And, um, especially after he actually got really close to the Count. He became a straight douche. Because, okay, if you think about it, right, from the beginning, at the beginning, right, um, they were actually friends. He was actually there trying to stand up for him to actually, like, you know, um, put in a good word uh, for Pajan, like, um, to the count, right? He was like, nobody's a good guy, nobody's my friend, etc, etc, right? And then uh, things started to change, you know, 
things started to change, especially after he started hanging out with the Count Mo, ETC, ETC, and then the way they showed um, the, the, the events of him losing his count, uh, sorry, not his count, his captainship, or not really his captainship, but his right to become the next captain of that fort, um, he was already never going to be a captain of that fort, already. Right? So they, the, the Count had really put that in motion. I think maybe the part where he started falling out with him very much was after uh, Jean actually like sued him and the Count, you know? But then again, I, I know that was a bad move politically speaking, right? That was a very, very bad move. And that was also a bad move when it comes to like friendship as well. If it was, if, if I was him, I'd have talked to, to, to Legree at least, you know, like, yo, you know, this land was supposed to be, um, like whatever, what you call it, dowry for my bride, I guess. This concept is a little bit weird to me where the, 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 the female side has to pay the guy's side. <laughs> it's kind of weird to me because it's opposite in my culture, right? You pay for that. For, you pay for for the right to marry her, I guess, you know, so yeah, at least you used to people some people still practice it, but you know um yeah, so he could have talked to him like, hey, bro, you know this was the case right here, you know, maybe they could have worked something out, you know, because legally speaking, yeah, he did get that legally, right mm, I don't know about legally. But he did get that, right? And it was not like he actually um, wanted to get that piece of land. He was given that piece of land by the person who uh, rules over that territory, I guess, you know? So, yeah, he could have just at least talked to him and not just rush to, um, you know, uh, suing with all of them. Like, come on, bro. And politically, that was the worst move he could have made. Like, come on, bro. He should have known better. But like his mom said, you know, his dad knew a lot more about how the world work, works than he does. Because this dude's on a, he's like a Ned Stark. Good thing about it is that in this case, he did not die. He's exactly like Ned Stark. You know? So, yeah. I mean, it's good to have honor, yes. But it's also good to know your environment, fam. Otherwise, your honor will just get you killed, will just get your family killed, and then what have you, you know, what have you accomplished? It's the same thing that the wife said, like, um, I, I'm paraphrasing here, but then it was like, is truth more important than the life of my son or my child or something like that, right? Wait, I think the, the kid was a girl, right? I think that kid was a girl. Let me just go back a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, but she was right. You know, what's what's the what's the the point of the truth if it's gonna cost you the life of your of your kid? You know, it's like, pff, bruh, I would I would definitely have taken the the same route that your mom did. You know, I would have said nothing and just moved on. You know, um. I don't know. It might be a it might be a, a guy, a boy. Might also be a girl. I don't know. I can't tell from the clothes. I can't tell from the clothes. Uh, yeah. Anyways, they have a kid. Yeah. So, in that it's the same thing that she was saying. You know, sometimes you have to say fuck my honor. I'm gonna make sure that my family is alright. I'm gonna make sure that they're doing alright. You know, it just is what it is. So yeah. Um, he could have talked to him, they could have worked something out. And then maybe Legree would have still been on his side, you know, going forward. But after that, I think, like, the, their, um, the trust and stuff like that, it just went off the rails. And Legree got closer to, to, to this guy, the Count, and he got worse and worse. You could see, like, maybe it's also because of, like, the way the society is is shaped in this situation because i say that because um you could say you could see you could 
hear from the way that he was saying that no i did nothing wrong yeah uh, there was no rape because in his head that was not rape yeah uh, uh, and then when he said um there was the um complimentary um uh, refusal or something like that from her that women do as if it's like you can't refuse uh, like to have sex with somebody you, well, like if you refuse it's just like complimentary you just do that just cause you know just cause like you know you, you, it, it's a courtesy or some shit like that you know so i'm guessing maybe that's how like these guys are, are raised like you know no don't worry about it she'll just deny but you know she she really wants it bro don't worry she really wants it which is fucked up and i'm pretty sure there are actually people out there who actually think that way but i'm also pretty sure that a lot of guys don't think about don't think that way nowadays you know i'm pretty sure most most guys are raised the right way nowadays um yeah <sighs> which is pretty fucked up you know if that's the way that he was thinking but then again he was also just straight up lying to save his own his own ass you know so he was just a straight douche in my opinion that dude was just a straight douchebag fuck him etc etc when it comes to the to the husband uh john right i think that's his name i might be butchering it as well <laughs> um <laughs> he was not the great husband i would say that he was not a great husband he was not a great um I guess the lord of uh his lands you could see the way he treated his his uh his subjects he thought he was always right he told people how things should be done even though that is not his expertise even though they could do things better and you know he just had it he just needed to have it his way you know and he also seemed as if he had a tendency to 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 get into some sort of rage moments you know um especially when you think about the the horse scene the horse scene that was just like crazy right like damn i mean i understand that you don't want but damn like even like the dialogue that he he said in that situation is like he's beating the horse and like not my nail what i was like damn my dude like relax i understand that you're trying to get this horse off of off of the, off of the mare right but the the dialogue that you're saying right now it makes it seem as if you are you feel these females as just straight possessions actually that could be the case too because you could tell like every time they had sex like him and his wife had sex he would be like i hope that was pleasurable for you as it was for me and productive i was like wait what <laughs> and i i guess i can try to understand it for the time period I can try to understand it. Yeah, but it doesn't mean I have to like it, right? So, yeah. And um I don't know if the whole thing about um conceiving um being uh directly correlate correl correlate <laughs> for you to conceive, right? You also have to have pleasure. I don't know if that's the case cuz no, nah, actually I know that's not the case. Uh, <laughs> like just ignore all that. I know that is not the case 100%. Because rape victims also do end up pregnant. So yeah. Um. But you could tell that she was not enjoying that. She was not enjoying the intimacy. There was no intimacy. It was just about productivity, basically speaking. Uh, which is pretty sad. Um that's a very fucked up type of relationship to be in. Um That's a fucked up type of marriage to be in. So, yeah. <laughs> I guess for the time, you know, for the time. Um Let's see what else do I have for it? Oh man, the court when they were when they were um at the king's palace, it's called the Palace of Justice, is it? And it was called the Cal the Palace of Justice. uh but yeah when they were there right and the questions that were being asked fam like what you could see the bias you could see the bias like this <laughs> this question this question they're like 
okay, we know that, and this is scientific facts. They say this is scientific facts that <laughs> you can't conceive if without uh, being pleasure or feeling pleasure, right? So if you're pregnant now, six months after, if you're six months six months pregnant now, six months after you uh, accuse that this happened, right? then that means you probably did feel pleasure. Yeah. So, did you feel pleasure? And then her response, I loved her response. Tell me exactly how you would feel pleasure from rape. Honestly speaking. <sighs> I don't know, man. I don't know. It, it, was, just, it was just tough. It was just really tough, but I guess it, it did a good way, a good job at showing like the mentality that people had in that situation. And that courtroom was all full of men, all of it full of men. That would not be fair. It would not be fair whatsoever in any way, shape or form. And you could see the queen actually like feel some sort of way about it. You know, she did not voice her concern. She did not say nothing, you know, but if you looked at her face, you could see like she felt something, you know. And uh, I think she, man, uh, I guess she might not be able to relate. Maybe because of her, um, maybe because of her position, she, that there's a lower possibility of that happening, but I would not completely rule it out. And so I was about to say that, you know, maybe she relates to it. Maybe it happened to her before, but I guess the, the chances of that kind of decrease a little bit more because she is from royalty. But it is not completely out of the question. The mom, though, the mom could relate, but she also was coming from an even older type of mindset, um, you know. And she was thinking logic. This happened to me. These are powerful men, and especially, especially what she said, you know, when when she was like, when um, she was asked, okay, what price did you pay for this? And then she was like, or oh, what did you gain from this, from that? And she was like. I'm a liar, right? Which came back to the threat that um, the greed, right? The threat that he t he said to her after raping her, when he was like, I, I, "I beseech you, my love, don't tell anybody. It's for your own safety." And then he goes, "Ah, uh, you, if your husband ever finds out, he might kill you." Nah, fam, it's. it's you are threatening her in that situation, not about the husband, but about yourself. Let's be honest. You, you're putting the husband in there just to make it uh, look good in your eyes, but not really, fam. And I hated, I hated, I hated so much how he was turning the story right after he did the deed. And he's like, oh, don't, don't uh, feel guilty. What? Don't feel guilty. We both, we couldn't help ourselves. We couldn't help ourselves, fam? God. Oh, I hear that so much. God damn it. Anyways, um, that fight scene was amazing. Yo, that fight scene was amazing. <laughs> the brutality. The brutality. Yo, I was very stressed, actually, because I, I actually thought that, you know, that fight could go any way. You know, because if it's being taken from real life, if it's based off of a real story, then the outcome should be like the actual outcome that happened, right? So if it's real life, things could have gone any other way. Though, of course, I was um, leaning more towards uh, Jean actually like, uh, you know, coming, off on t coming out on top because he has had more experience in the battlefield and stuff like that. Whilst this guy is usually just, um, you know, back home, enjoying his life, drinking, partying. Sex, eating, etc, etc. And it was a good life for him. It was a good life for him. So I, <laughs> if the opportunity was there, I think I would probably also take that opportunity. You're away from danger, etc, etc. So yeah. But yeah, I was leaning towards uh, John actually winning that fight. And I'm glad that he did. I'm glad that he did. I'm glad that I guess justice was served in a sense, you know. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed the actors. The actors were amazing. Um, the soundtrack was great. The, man, the sceneries were, were great. I wonder where they actually filmed that though. Was that actually in France? I don't know.
so I had just um, I was just about to start like editing the video right and then I realized wait a minute you forgot to talk about a very important part of this movie a very important aspect of this movie which was um, the, the the way that they showed the movie the way that they showed the three perspectives of, spe of those people right and the minute differences that they each like had if each actor okay not if each actor that means had to play three different roles of the same character in a way and that is fucking phenomenal and that means they had to put in those subtle changes those subtle hints that each character uh, had each each view had basically speaking right and they had to ha they had to have that type of uh uh what can i say characteristic about them um on each view you know uh, depending on how the other person uh, thought of them or viewed them that means every time we had um marguerite's view that means uh, both jean and uh Legree, they had to change the way they were acting the first two other views and and then uh act in the way that uh, marguerite would have seen them which is it's very it's phenomenal let me not lie because <laughs> i'm pretty sure that is pretty difficult to to pull off one two those those points of views were just amazing you know it, at first when i was when i was seeing that like when i saw them change the views the first time i was like damn that means i have to watch all this again it's probably gonna get boring and then when you start noticing the the, the minute differences the minor changes you're like damn okay so this is what happened this is why this happened or this is the the change that this person thought or or you know this is how this person looked at this scenario this is how this person looked at this view like for example the the smile that Magritte gave uh, um, Lagree when she was dancing with her husband, right? She, in, <laughs> we okay. She was telling her husband that a, hey, you know, sometimes a simple smile could take you a long way. Uh, Lagree sees the smile and he, in his head he's like, "Yeah, she wants me." The different perspectives. <laughs> You know, it's just crazy and it, it comes to show like you know the how these things actually work in real life because everybody there is was telling stories from their own point of views and they can always change they always have these small differences that can either lead to one person being uh, seen as guilty or being seen as innocent it's just the, the the perspective that we're looking at it through and something else that i noticed right uh, that i just remember right now is that uh, there was this line that the mom said she was like there, there is no truth or there is no justice when she was talking to Marjorie and she was like only the the power of men or something like that right and that like it's shown through the whole thing through the whole like I don't know if I should say through the whole movie but I think I should because most of the movie was actually very focused on the men's um actions and what they were doing and etc etc heck for her to actually even get justice it came down to uh the guys fighting it out the power of men like literally you know it's just it's crazy fam when you really think about it when you really think about it it's like in the end all this all still came down to uh the men basically speaking <laughs> even though it was mostly about her like what happened to her and if the other guy was guilty or not you know it's just crazy it's just crazy um but yeah i think i think that's all i have so yeah i don't know but yeah it was good i enjoyed this uh, i hope you all enjoyed this movie as well if you did please leave a like sub to the channel and leave a comment down below telling me what your thoughts were on this movie and yeah later